treating it aggressively, and I'm all for that, but uh, with the double chemo and everything taken, it was hard on my heart, which I had clogged arteries, so that brought that out, have a heart attack in the middle of the night. Never even woke her up. I just let her sleep. I thought it was indigestion, to be honest with you, is what it felt like. But, you know, got through that, you know, had to have stamps put in and things like that. And uh, going through all of this, I mean, I've been a religious man my life. You know, I never came to church. I thought, well, I don't really need to come to church. You know, I can still lead a good life, be a good man, good man to my family, friends, work, and all that. But this, all this stuff happened to me was a wake-up call. Amen. You know, and and uh, God's going to test you in different ways. Amen. Everybody. Yes. Everything is God's will. You know, we talk about God's will. It, it's all God's will. Whatever direction that it's going to happen for you in your life, it, it, it's God's will for you or for you or for you. Uh, and and you you have, you got to deal with that. You've got to keep going with whatever comes your way. And, you know, God's around you. He may not think it at that time. Or you may have doubts. We're all human beings. So, you know, you're, you're going to have a doubt. You, you know, you might have a doubt of why me or whatever. But, uh, you know, God's got a plan for you. And uh, regardless of however it comes, whatever road you're going down, he, he's got a plan for you. He's there one of us. You know, I never dreamed this would happen to me. I took life for granted as most people does out in the world. And until something happens, you know, then you get a wake up call, you know, and uh, and stuff, and I got mine. But then, if you get a wake up call, you can't say, woe is me, by me, you gotta keep going. Put yeah. one foot in front of another foot, in front of another foot, and keep going. Because that's the, the trail or the path that God's given you, you got to walk it, yeah. regardless of what it is. Yeah. You know, my family history, all the men die of heart attacks. And then when I got this cancer, I'm like, just, no, this is not my destiny. Cancer is not for me. I'm supposed to kill or die of a heart attack. I even told the cancer doctor that. I'm like, I can't have cancer here. i got to die of a heart attack. Like, I'm a, I'm a relative, you know, I called me and I'm like, this, this is not my destiny. He said, well, I'll keep you alive another 10 years and then you can have a heart attack. <laughs> well, that's like in October, November, and then in January, you'll have a heart attack. <laughs> you know, and here I'm thinking I've got indigestion, you know, I've got to go get on the toilet here. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I'm like, this is that. Uh, yeah. that's, that's what I thought it was. You know, but he didn't kill me. Here I am talking to everybody. Else, you know, everybody's laughing at me. That's okay. Well, that's how I pray for me. That's my path. And I accepted that path. And then I'm going through all this stuff, you know, and I'm like asking God, I'm like, you know, I, you know, Help me on through this or be with my family. You know, I told Brenda all the time, I said, I don't say a prayer for me. I say a prayer for other people. Because his will for me will be done in whatever he's got in my destiny. You know, but I go to the cancer center, I see sick people up there that's far worse than me. And I say prayers for them. I, I can't I can't help it. And and I'm like, I accept my faith, whatever it may be. And then I got to thinking, well, I better start going to church and, and learning what the Bible's all about and coming to learn the Word and stuff because I'm totally ignorant on it. You know, I'm 66 and a half years old here, getting ready to turn 67, and ignorant of, of, the, of the Bible and of the Word of God. 
Yeah. And uh, and stuff. So that's why I like to come every Sunday and hear the preaching and hear the songs and everything about church up here. I, I you know I love it. I'm like this is so enlightening to me. I learn something each and every Sunday. I can't. It's hard for me to come on Thursday night because I still work. You know, I still take chemo pills daily, and when I get off work, I'm just beat. I mean, the only feeling I know is tiredness. And so it's so hard for me to come up on Thursday night. But I'm here on Sunday nights, so I can hear the Word of God and to learn what's in the Bible. And when she said last week about having Bible study, we got at home, I said, I'm all for that, I'll do that. You know, like whoever's going to teach it, I'll be there because I don't know a thing about it. Really, to be honest with you, I don't know all the apostles. I don't know all their names. You know, so, uh, you know, I really enjoy coming up here. And, you know, half my family's here. And, uh, you know, and brothers and sisters here, great people. And then I ask myself, why didn't I do this before I got sick? But the Lord gave me a wake-up call, and here I am. Amen. And this is all you'll get out of me. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>